Alright everyone, this is Activold's um, 6.1. I just got uh, into the gate world. Uh, we're going to do a quick overview on, uh, on Activold 6.1. Um, like I said previously, the differences between the different versions are sometimes not even noticeable unless you're building or doing specific um, features. When looking at 6.1, we'll just start at the top, just like we did previously. So file, start, minimize, exit. Again, these two options haven't been added. However, of course, you have these options right here on the, on the right, which will do exactly the same. So again, it's something that you've seen in the previous video, it's it's still the same. Teleport options, forward, back to, home, make this my home, remember. Or remember location on exit. Well, this is something that is... Um, great if you have, for instance, are, are troubleshooting an a, a problem, right? So if Activals is crashing, you want to remember location. Uh, that, that's that's great. That, that option is is definitely something that is new. Um, I didn't expect this to uh, make a huge impact on most users, though. So let's just go to the view options again. Chase camera. That's that's I guess new, uh, but the rest is all just again standard, the same. Um, our options here again settings citizen uh, configure controls or basically your binding keys when you click on this um, yeah again like I said uh, it looks exactly the same so uh, yeah that hasn't been changed much um, which is good if it's functional don't change it right you don't want to mess with the formula uh, let's go to show um, again some added features because you have a second toolbar now uh, menu effects uh, it's nice to make the menu look nicer. You have your custom avatar right on the top if the world allows it. So if there's a world that you're going to go into, some of these worlds have custom avatars disabled. So keep that in mind. So you will be defaulted to a default avatar in, the, in that specific world. Um, visibility, um, you have float all the way to 200. There's a 500 meter option, but it's not for everyone. All right, let's go to tools, help. It's an, basically it's a, um, a tweak that you have to do in your ini file when starting ActiveVault. Um, here you have your user guide, help, registry, about. Um, again, when you go to help, F1, there's your user guide. Instead of a blue or purple, it's now green. Uh, still the same. It's um, Yeah, that hasn't changed either. Uh, when we take a look at the features though, there's a huge difference. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and take a look at active volts 6.1 um, and all its glory I'll just go ahead and zoom in zoom out um, yeah it looks pretty cool looks pretty good right um, the control on the keyboard is a lot more fluent so the camera does respond a lot nicer and a lot more crisp I guess um, other than that, flying. Like I said, avatars now have shadows, so there is avatar shadows in there. Um, you have zones, particles, um, and all these different things. We can take a look at them in more greater detail if you like. I mean, you can always leave a, a comment down below if there's any inactive roles that you want to know or, or do uh, wish to um, get explained in greater detail. Um, the moving is still done by the uh, arrow keys. Um, so arrow keys uh, fade in fade out objects as well so when an object is loading it fades in and fades out when it's deloading and these these this doesn't exist in the previous version that I reviewed um, but yeah that's something that's been added as well this is a gatekeeper by the way gatekeepers are there to um, help people along they are basically there to keep the peace um, but they I believe they are doing a, a single shift for a couple of hours so there you go um, yeah so yeah that's that's basically Activable 6.2 build options like I said there's a new uh, a whole bunch of new features so in this case we're talking about a model now the type can be changed to a zone a particle emitter a mover a camera if the camera is nice if you want to do for instance a, a zooming in on a, on a specific scene right if you if you're trying to really make a game out of Activolt that's a possibility you can use cameras to 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 uh, uh, yeah you can trigger that and and, and make your uh, your camera move from your avatar for instance to that specific spot a uh, cloth is nice it's basically physics 
So if you have uh, an NVIDIA uh, video card, it will use the native physics engine on your video card. If you don't have NVIDIA, uh, no worries. It will then use your CPU. Um, yeah, so that's, that's that, I guess. Um, we'll take a look at the menu uh, again. So we'll just take a look at the settings. Uh, in settings, you have your performance. Again, this is very similar. Now, we have an auto-adjust option. Uh, it's, it's neat, but then again, it's... Um, yeah, yeah, I had that in the previous version as well. This again is the same. The only difference is, is that there's now a shadow casting for avatars. Uh, the visual visual quality has been added. So mid-map quality, uh, material effects, the shadows for avatars, the sub-renders or mirrors. Um, so they have added mirrors somewhere in 4.1 or 2, I believe. Uh, transparency effects, uh, and of course. That's uh, that's a general slider that will turn things on and off um, if you enable this. So you can just if you slide this on a, a up and down. See, you can tell it's been populated or not. Let's go to general sounds. Uh, again, you can still move like a stick. <laughs> Precise movement is in here. Um, the UI uh, opacity can be changed as well. So let's just go ahead and change that. Let's go ahead and uh, completely. Uh, make it transparent or you can say okay I want to completely visible so I always have mine set somewhere in the middle it's you don't want to make it too obstructive um, same ratings again G PG uh, PG 13 for teens and if 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 you do have um, if you are an adult of course you can go into R-rated worlds where you can swear but um, that's uh, for another story we'll, we'll, we'll explain how these ratings work but this is basically for kids P, uh, G and, and PG and then PG 13 is designed for well the age 14 I guess and then R is really mature uh, the X is well there you go audio um, this has become sliders for some reason this was not sliders uh, I think uh, just two versions ago or something I don't know but this um, this looks ni uh, nice to be able to slide these things it's it's nice uh, e again you can disable media URLs I would highly um, avoid this option but some worlds do have these <sighs> annoying radio so you do want to mute that um, or you can just go like this it really depends uh, downloads again pictures or audio files privacy options still the same um, confirming join request has stayed the same as well the automatic leave AFK keyboard option is different that's something new I believe um, let's go to add-ons uh, grab for oh yes this is nice but we'll not, we'll not talk that Okay, um, yeah, endoscopic filtering, all the way up to 16. Boom. Oh, looks neat. Um, anti aliasing, let's do up to 8. And uh, let's go to cache web. Oh, yes, uh, there has been something new introduced in these latest versions, so 6.0 and above, I think, or even 5.1. Um, something it was, uh, it's called chromium. So the standard now is chromium. That's pretty good. Chromium is uh, it's nice. Um, so a lot of people out there that like web development, there you go, chromium. Um, there's a spelling dictionary now. This is uh, again something new. Um, you still have all your languages. So Castello, Chinese, Danish, Default, French, German, Italian, Japanese, Korean, uh, whatever that is. Uh, Norwegian, Norsk, um, Portuguese, Russian, Finnish, Swami, and Swedish. So those languages are still there. Um, you can still change that by default. Um, and that basically wraps up our, our, our whole menu options. The world options are still the same as well. F9 is still the short key for your tabs. Um, but now they're using a grid system. So you can see this whole grid system. Multiple programs in the industry use the same grid system, by the way. This is not very unique. You will see this uh, being implemented in other products. So. If you have seen other products using this type of, um, of grid system, there you go. It's uh, third party. Let's go ahead and go to the options when it comes to the... Um, yeah, where should we go? What should we do? Let's just take a look at building again. Because building is pretty important in Active Worlds. A lot of people do like building. So let's just go ahead and see how building works. Um, 
again you need to have an empty lot else you're going to be encroaching into somebody else's property and they don't allow it so let's just take a look in, the, in an object and I'm not going to actually uh, disable this object because if I do it will be uh, deleted because of I'm because I'm encroaching into somebody else's property alright so here you have your your object model um, again short keys very handy so um, uh, your your uh, backslash and your star on your numpad those keys are used for the third axis that, that has not changed uh, page up page down those options are there to rotate the object uh, end and home uh, tilt the object basically and insert duplicates it delete deletes the object um, so there you go there has not been a major uh, difference so far but let's visit a world that has water because that's the main difference I guess um, between all these different versions when you go to uh, 6.0 uh, or higher you will see water there and it's pretty nice as well it's, it's nice water so let's just go and see if we can get a world that actually has water there so AW reunion there you go alright so let's hope that this will have some water in here yes it does so very good alright I'm very happy okay so this world obviously has water and obviously you can tell this water is looking a lot better <laughs> uh, this water is shade of water and this water basically can reflect it can uh, um, it can do a lot more options basically than the uh, than the old water can do. Uh, a big giant plus with this water as well is that there is uh, you do need I guess a pretty good machine um, a modern machine to be able to uh, take full advantage of all the features that this new water can give you um, but yeah there you go so yeah it looks a lot better it's shade of water it's it's great so yeah that's, that's just a, a huge thing that, that has been introduced in 6.0 and, and definitely was needed right uh, we still have the same options to display uh, whatever we like at the background in this case you're using this low resolution thing but yeah you can display something nice there it's not a problem um, clouds again same um, there's no difference in that there will be uh, something called physics now uh, in, in it's been introduced in 4.1 but the physics has become more advanced with the cloth thing uh, that has been introduced um, slope sliding does occur so if you have slope sliding enabled uh, you will slide down a slope mm, but apparently this one does not have it enabled no but yeah normally you can slide down slopes if it's enabled if it's, it's, a, it's a thing that you can do it's uh, a setting in the world um, world settings we're going to be taking a look at the differences if you want me to again this is all done on request so if you want to see an old version or if you want to see how um, the different settings look like uh, we can always take a look at them I mean the world settings we normally be found here on the features options so right there uh, we're going to go a little bit more in depth in this one um, sound physics again physics slope sliding right there if this was ticked that meant that on that 40 feet 45 degree angle I would have started to slope down right and the friction setting would be the most one that can influence how fast that goes uh, also the max angle so if I put in a lower uh, amount in here it would mean that uh, yeah the speed will go up uh, yeah, tremendously I guess. so there's your ground options um, again you have the ability to enable terrain or you can use an object but an object was there basically from the very beginning so most people will want to use um, the terrain option yeah again not very interesting oh, we can take a look at the water options again because the water options that has been changed now let's just go ahead and go to water reflections okay so again reflections you can reflect the sky the clouds terrain the ground static objects objects and then of course the queue um, and then again here you have your wave options um, then share ocean right there right there so if that option was disabled we'll be taking a look at the same water again um, but yeah there you go um, you see that it's a zone we're in a zone when we go into here see this is a zone so in this zone specifically he has put in a, a, a some sort of star gate-esque thing but yeah there you go 
So, um, yeah, that's Active Vault 6.1 and all its features, I guess. Um, most of the options have been covered, I guess. If you need a more in depth review on this specific version, just let me know. Um, you can actually just take a look at it and, um, yeah, just uh, let me know if you do want a more in depth review on this version and any other version you like. And 